All right, all right, all right. Guru here. Out with the dogs this afternoon. Out with the Beretta. Oh, wrong bird, Charlie, but good effort. No, dogs, we're going to go this way. It is an extremely dark and ominous day. As you can tell, we seen one grouse. It was way high in a tree and took off before we even got to it. Charlie was sniffing it, though. Charlie, come. Come on, girl. They hear all these little birds, so they keep pointing and stopping. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. But um, we're not here to necessarily talk about bird hunting. Charlie, come. Charlie, come. Come on. I'm going this way. Good girl. Good Charlie. Yes, that's my sweet girl. Come on. Stacy you there. My handsome boy. Um, we're here to talk about the fishing that's coming up. It's Wednesday. I think today's the 6th um, of December. So we're just coming into our steelhead season, really. It's early, but we've already got reports. We've got a pretty good report of um, some fish caught in the North Fork and Halem. We've got another good report of some fish caught on the Trask. Um, as you know, we floated the Alsi. Went a little further south. Get away from everybody. That was pretty nice. We were only uh, um, three, three boats total on that river for the day that we seen there might have been one behind us maybe but i don't know but anywhere four boats for the whole river that ain't nothing there was a ton of old schnooks i caught two silvers one big buck and then one smaller hen albert got a dandy cutthroat big buck that was probably about a pound and a half 15 to 16 inches long but there's reports of fish being caught, um, even some reports on on the Wilson, a few steelhead being caught, but not much. Um, and I hate to sound redundant, but, you know, that, uh, that early run of steelhead is no longer there. Everybody's gone to pretty much a broodstock program. Only a handful of rivers like the North Fork Nehalem, the Nicanicum, the Alsi, um, uh you know have that early run of fish not saying you can't catch fish just saying there's not very many left in there you know but hopefully the this year will be better numbers the past three years have have been not so good numbers charlie i can't see you there you go. good girl hunt him up hunt him up Good boy, Jesse Bear. Good boy. But, uh, you know, hey, we're in it. So we got rain coming in Thursday. Um, looks like we're going to have some rain all the way through Sunday. Who knows how much. It doesn't look like we're getting very much. One thing I want everybody to pay attention to also is, uh, um, you know, our snowpack and going over the mountain. Uh, it is very dangerous. You know, if you have to leave earlier, I know Highway 26 was a nice rink getting to it Saturday. Um, you know, it's got snow already, it froze over. It's nasty. But uh, everybody, you know, take your time. Safety first. It ain't worth dying over. You know, if you need to start out early, heck, and you know it's going to be bad. You know, if you live in the Portland metro, um, let's see, it's getting light about 7 so you need to be crossing, like, you need to be, if you're going to the North Fork, Nehalem, you need to be at, say, the Highway 53 cutoff by no later than 6 o'clock. Um, you really need to start early. I can't stress that enough, especially when fishing that place. It is busy, but it's busy for a reason. There's fish there. So, you know... You're not going to be the only one there. If you can fish weekdays there, that is the absolute of absolutes. Um, Charlie, too deep. 
Jasper, what do you got here? We've been finding dead parts of animals all over this. And fucking trash. People leaving trash up here. I'm on some warehouser land just above my house in uh, McMinnville. Just not very far up an old country road. That a lot of people use this area. Uh, it's walk-in only. Um, sometimes they open it up to vehicles, but it seems like there's been a lot of dumping in here when they opened it up. And I don't blame Warehouser one bit for closing it down. I just thank them for letting us walk in here. Thanks, Warehouser. Um, but uh, getting back to the North Fork, you know, it's going to be popping off. So everybody listen up. Let this sink in real deep. The North Fork Nehalem, its best fishing is the last two weeks in December and the first two weeks in January. That's when the North Fork fishes best. Dogs, you're getting too far. That's when you need to be there is at that time. Do whatever you got to do to be there on prime water. Now, last Friday, it was running at 50 inches. That had been the day to be there, in my opinion. Um, I don't like to fish it any lower than, say, 40 inches, but you can catch fish in there. I know a lot of people who do. In fact, uh, there was one of our subscribers, one of the, the network brothers, that uh, <laughs> that caught uh, went two for three on the North Fork last Saturday. So, hey, thanks for the information, brother. We appreciate it, everybody in the network. And uh, if we're all sharing information then we're all sharing success, and that's the way we want to be. Uh, in fact, I got an email <laughs> about my uh, about my buddy. You know, in that, that last little Alcy video, my buddy's like, are you going to share this information with everybody? And yes, I am. I'm going to share this with everyone. Uh, I don't want to be a fish hog. I don't promote. Ooh, there's a nice swamp down yonder. I don't promote... Uh, fish hog, ness, <laughs> if there is such a word. Uh, you know, I want to spread the wealth to everyone. That's just who I am. I especially want to get new people into fishing and uh, into the adventure, into being wild. Because I think uh, we all need to be getting back to our wild oats. And so I'm going to share everything I can with everybody. I might keep a few things to myself, but... That's just to keep my edge. You know, guru's got to do what a guru's got to do. <laughs> Hi, Charway. She's on something. We've been smelling birds in here. We just ain't seeing nothing. And the one we did see was way up in those trees. And we, before we even got to it, it's actually right behind us where I started the video where that happened. Figured it was a good place to start the video, but we're just, we're just not seeing them. But... Uh, as far as where we were on the Alsea, great water. Uh, it was beautiful. It was running at 4.1. We kind of figured optimum levels right at five feet. Um, there was a few not low spots. We didn't scrape or anything in the boat, but um, you could tell if it was about another foot higher would have been just a little better, uh, we think. We also noticed the few boats that we did run into... Um, they were more power fishing. Uh, again, single leg pattern. Uh, we ran into one guide boat. Ooh, Jasper's just, just looking straight up. Hold on here. I might have to take a break. Let me switch hands. So I can go to the gun hand. Switch the gun around. Charlie, I don't see you. I don't see nothing. See, they'll hide up in them trees. You know, to try to stay away from predators up on these branches. That's where we've seen the last one. Charlie! <whistles> Can't see you. Charlie, come. I don't even hear. Charlie, come. Charlie! There, let's give her a little buzz. Charlie, Charlie, come, Charlie, come. There she is, way down there. You're too far, girl, too far. 
Yeah, there you go. But uh, one thing we noticed, uh, the guide, they were power fishing. Uh, single egg pattern. Um, you know, guide was on the oars, client was in the front of the boat, and they're just cherry picking every tail out and everything there is. Come on, Charlie. Jasper must have an upset tummy because he's sure eating a lot of grass. Hi, Jackie Bear. Charlie, come. But, um, and then, let's see, we've seen another raft, and, uh, which kind of surprised me on that river to see a raft, but they were using fly gear, looks like with a glow bug of some kind. See these fucking assholes. See this shit here? You see people fucking dumping and doing this shit? Just fucking bury them right where you find them. Put a bullet in their head. This is what fucked up the whole coast range for everybody. This shit right here. People fucking dumping. And then someone lit it on fire. What a bunch of fucking assholes. Bunch of clothes and shit. Need to come up here and do a cleanup. I'm part of the Oregon Hunters Association. They do cleanups up here. So this is definitely uh, something we need to mention in the next next meeting. This is fucking bullshit. Nothing pisses me off worse. This is why they close the fucking gates. You know, even up the slats where the warehouser lands up there. They, you know, all the locals bitch, moan, and complain that they can't go fish the upper slats. You know, dude, this is fucking why right here. It's fucking people doing this shit. This is exactly why they close it. And I don't blame Warehouser one bit at all. Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. Get something nasty on your paws or something. Come on, Charlie. Jasper. Come on. Oh, gets my blood boiling. Anyways. um, You know, the raft, they were using fly gear. They were definitely single egg pattern. Looked like a glow bug. Might have been a bead. Couldn't really tell. But they were definitely fishing fast. And that could be, you know, that they're just trying to pick off the first few bright fish that are coming in. But let me tell you, everybody that we did see, all single egg patterns. That's what Albert got his big fat cut on. Actually, two cuts. Charlie, you're getting too far ahead. And... That's going to be it right now because there still is quite a few Chinooks. Uh, it seems like in all the waters. Uh, I know the Wilson, they were still catching chummies and Chinooks in the Wilson. Some bright, bright Chinooks, but of course, you can't keep shit. So, um, which is a real bummer, but, uh, you know, and with all those Chinooks and all those chummies and silvers still in the water, all pooping out eggs. Single leg pattern is going to be your met, best bet, uh, especially if you're doing it uh, under a float with uh, a little daisy chain, a sp split shot to hold her down. And which, if you want to see that rig, there's got a ton of things here on YouTube where you can see guys that have uh, have rigged that up. That's what my buddy Albert seems to like the best. I like to drift fish. You know, I'm still the old school drift fisherman single egg pattern uh didn't touch anything that way but um oh you hear them don't you yeah no yeah little birds but uh my new drift boat sure like in the new willy it is absolutely awesome um easy to row uh my only complaint, and I'm going to do another review probably at one year, uh, the rope that they gave me for my anchor is too small, and it slips out. It doesn't hold in the cleat real well. Jasper, come. And that's my only complaint. Otherwise, it's an awesome boat. We broke her in real good. I already put a few scratches on her. <laughs> And uh, no dents yet, <laughs> but I'm sure we'll put one at least every season. But uh, yeah, it's been been nice having the boat. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm 
I'm gonna turn my back on my my roots of being a bank maggot. Still gonna do lots of that. It is actually starting to snow. This is funny. This is hilarious. No birds. It wasn't raining, but it's trying to snow. But, um, oh, uh, what was the other place we heard fish caught? Uh, <coughs> up in the North Fork, Klask and I. That's kind of an untouched gem. Similar to like, um, like Big Crick. Charlie, come on. Good girl. Good girl. Um, it... You know, it's a lot like the Nicanicum, the North Fork. You know, you want to fish it right after a good rain. It cleans out really fast. They've already got a few hatchery fish up there. Somebody, uh, actually a friend of mine, not a subscriber. At least not yet. He should be, huh, if he's a friend. But um, uh, he basically said that right after that high water, there was quite a few fish that was caught right there at the hatchery on the North Fork of the Klask and I. God, that's just yummy right in there. Look at that. Should be all kinds of grouse in there, but no dice today. Come on, dog. But um, don't put that one on your list. That, uh, you know, it's one of those rivers similar to like the Nicanicum Big Creek. Uh, and when I mean, what do all them have in common? When everything else is blown out on the north coast, those are fishable. But Big Creek, North Fork, Klask, and I, they're far away. So you're going to have to leave early to get there to beat the locals. That's just the way that it is. Um, you know, because it is that far away. And it's, you know... As soon as that those bodies of water are on the drop, the fish are jamming. Um, so, and they're no secrets, you know, the people know that those bodies of water and how they fish, but for everybody who doesn't know, that's when you wanna be there, is right when it's dropping, right after a good hard rain. Or, you know, if everything else, Wilson, Trask, all of them are blown out, you know, in Estucca, you can go up there and chances are at least Big Creek will be fishable and Nat Creek too. Um, that's another really good one when the water's high. Um, it's a tiny little creek, but man, oh man, there's some days you can just lace the steelhead in there. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of hatchery fish, but a lot of fun too early in the season. Oh, well, might be clearing up. Yeah, see that? It's starting to clear a little, but it's still, it's trying to snow. But we uh, get ready for this weekend. Get your gear ready. I know I got a few rods I need to re-spool. It needs some love. Um, you know, look for the rain. Remember, we're looking for the North Fork to be up around 50 inches, or at least in the high 40s. We're fucking trash and bones. Jasper, leave it. Looking for the North Fork. 50 inches, high 40s. Um, we're looking for Wilson, five and a half to six feet. If the Wilson's running like that, everything else is good, uh, you know, in the Tillamook area. Nestucca, wouldn't be surprised. Haven't heard anything yet, but I know some fish have had to have been caught there, um, especially from Farmer's Creek down. There's always some, some fish in there, but, oh, put in the new culvert. Um, so don't forget about the Nestucca. Let's see how much rain we get. Um, you know, be checking the North Fork. Be checking, uh, you know, the hotline number on the North Fork regularly. National Weather Service. Isn't that beautiful? This is right here in my backyard. Neat little falls here. 
But uh, check water levels, make sure everything is good to go. Get all your gear ready, prepare this weekend, especially this Saturday looks pretty good. If we get too much rain, Sunday will probably be the day. Good luck, tight lines, guru out. I love that falls.